and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose myself, and it's at the San Blas style. I kept waking up in these panics. Oh my god, there's dolphins! Here first, seven news, very weather. Yes, my colleague just described, yes, we are approaching some Lost Islands. I haven't even put down Nanki yet, and I just want to stay here. Wow! Wow! Just woken up. Um, I'll be on first shift from 8 till 11 tonight and we're gonna go sailing. Mm -hmm. Sandblast, here we come. It's 180 nautical miles from here to the Sandblast Islands. Mm. Um, we should have somewhat good winds through tonight. Tomorrow it'll fade off a little bit but then it'll kick back in tomorrow night. So we have heard of friends that this sail is quite hectic because the current will be coming one way and the wind will be coming the other. So it shall be making for some lumpy swell, we do believe. But uh, we're going to take it slow if we need to heave to for, 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 like for ourselves to, to keep ourselves not throwing up overboard. Mm. Then we'll do that. Yeah, we're going to pray to all the gods so the sea will be calm, hey? Fingers crossed. And I have prepared a little cook up in the oven, some veggies, some potatoes, kind of a standard thing that I do these days. It's, it's quite, it works quite nice. It looks um, very nice, quite nice, very nice. We like it. Um, so we have that, it's quite a lot of food, so someone can nibble on that when he has his night shifts. <laughs> um, yeah, I got, I got my wristbands on, I just took a pill. It's gonna be good. It's a beautiful sunset and yeah, we'll take our time. I like your positive attitude. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. I feel I feel prepared now. I don't have the anxiety that I had before. So it's good. Okay, Captain, what do you say? I say let's do it. Let's do it. See you guys! Hey guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell to keep up with everything that we're doing. After meeting other full-time cruisers, Magnus and Sandra from Sweden, we decided to take on the sail from Colombia to the San Blast Islands together. It felt comforting to have sailing vessel Libra nearby at all times. Good 
morning, good morning. Uh, we are into our first morning of this 180 nautical mile sail. Probably the first and only morning. Um, last night was quite nice. We trimmed the sails perfectly. We had about anywhere between 10 to 15 knots and we just cruised along. I made a bit of a mistake last night. I ignored shifts completely. Um, I thought maybe I could sleep outside and I did have a few sleeps but in the end I, uh, I kept waking up in these panics like uh, looking around for boats and it wasn't good. It wasn't good. I should have just put Isabel on shift, gone downstairs and slept and that's what I actually did at about 3am but I took a shift from 8am to 3am and it, was, it wasn't very smart on my part. So this morning I'm feeling quite rough. Uh, we are 64 miles into our 180 mile sail. It's saying we're going to be there at about somewhere between 3 to 5 a.m. tomorrow, uh, which is fine. If we, I'd like to be there right on sunrise tomorrow morning. If we're there earlier, then we'll just heave to for an hour or two. Um, the winds aren't scheduled to be very strong today, so we're probably going to lose some ground anyway. We have, we put a lot of ground on our friends uh, Libra last night. We actually left them behind by about 13 miles. And this morning they have caught us right up. They're only three miles behind us and they're closing that distance. The wind this morning is about 10 knots, 10, 12 knots and we've got about five knots of boat speed, five and a half. Oh, no, six, I take that back. We've got six knots of boat speed depending on the waves coming through. I must admit, not doing the shifts last night has left me a little bit feeling quite down. But uh, Isabel's just gone down for a couple hours sleep now and I'll grab a couple more after her. The wind should be nice and light today and hopefully the waves will be too so we can catch up on that sleep that we've missed. I have to remind myself to eat as well. Sometimes it's very easy to just sit up here and enjoy the wind and the waves and you forget to eat. So this morning we're gonna go have some oranges and some cereal. Second big debris we've seen. Oh my god, there's dolphins! the better sails in a long time and it just got so much better dolphins oh they just knew they was up in the bow oh I did see dolphins yesterday uh, I saw them in the moonlight jumping but it's just oh they're so oh I just get so happy I can't describe it it's just it's my spiritual animal <laughs> uh, otherwise this sail has been great we have we were warned by our friends who did this passage uh, a few weeks ago now 
but uh, these wells are so nice. They're big and they're rolling. It's just the best set of waves you can hope for when you're, you know, in the middle of the ocean like this. Um, it has really been so nice and we have our friends Sailing Mesa Libre. It's, it's really nice to have a buddy boat and we're going similar speeds, so that's really nice. Um, my seasickness, touch on wood. Um, it's been has been good. Um, I had the, the wristbands and I took a pill this morning. I slept for two hours. <laughs> um, we had lunch and just watched a movie. Now Karen's downstairs having a little nap. And I'm just really just enjoying this. Uh, this is as good as it gets. I'm over the moon. I wish you guys could just sit here with me and just be a part of this moment right now. Right now. And what a beautiful, beautiful day it's been. I'm just watching the sunset now. Um, very, very happy with day number two and hopefully the last day. Um, tomorrow morning we should be putting an anchor down at sunrise in the Sandblast Islands. Oh, I cannot wait to get to the Sandblast Islands. We have heard lots and lots of good things about them. Um, we're going to go looking for surf, not sure we're going to find any. But uh, yeah, today has been spectacular. We've had, it kind of died off through the morning, which we did know about. It didn't die off completely. We always had about eight to 10 knots, which was nice. We could still sail. Um, and this afternoon, it, the wind has swung to about 60 degrees in front of us, which was also predicted. Um, so now we are at a close haul and we're going to have the wind continuously pick up stronger and stronger as the night goes on um, so eventually I'll be packing away more and more sail but fingers crossed tonight it shouldn't get above 20 knots which is quite nice for us um, Isabel and I have been watching a movie today I've just had a sleep and she's got dinner on my favourite pizza Oof. Oof, it's been a very, very good day. Check out this sunset. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Um, we are quite well. Yeah. Lacking in sleep, but enjoying a beautiful sunrise. Mm -hmm. We are only an hour and a half of our destination. We have been copying current, probably one to two knots of current for the last, I don't know, six to ten hours, and it slowed us down quite a bit. So we are pulling in just after sunrise, as we were hoping, but uh, we never had to heave to, we never had to stall, we never had to slow down. So it's been a very, very good sail. Mm. I'm feeling very happy with ourselves. Uh, I'm looking forward to going for a swim, putting down an anchor, and seeing the Sandblast Islands. We are just coming in with about 12 to 14 knots of wind from behind us at about 120 degrees. And we've got about three and a half, four knots boat speed. Um, like I said, that current is a killer. We've got our friends, Libra. They're about 2.8 nautical miles behind us. And they have been catching us all morning. So uh, I kind of want to beat them there, but they are going very quickly. 
and they are a bigger boat, so we'll see what happens. Isabel will now tell you about her sail and her experience from her sail from Cartagena, Colombia to the San Blas Islands of Panama. And I don't know why I've started talking in this funny, funny voice. Over to you, Isabel. Over to you, Isabel. I'm a news anchor. Just reporting here first, 7 News Meriwether. Good morning, as my colleague just described. Yes, we are approaching some Los Islands, and it's about 6 in the morning. <laughs> We've had a very adequate meal sleep. <laughs> anyway, no, it's been a great sail. I'm really just looking forward to go for a swim in the crystal clear blue waters of the Sun Lost Islands. And yeah, uh, rocking up to a new country today. That's exciting. And that's all for me. I'm still sleepy. What? Just gonna enjoy the sunrise. What kind of country is this? Hmm? I think. I think. Number 16. Woo! This is our 16th country in what 18 months? I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose myself, and it's at the San Blas style. <laughs> I'm so. Oh, can you tell I'm super tired? No. No, no this all. is you, always. No. How are you feeling, Captain? I so excited? Like, I feel like I haven't showered in a couple of days and I have dreadlocks. <laughs> which is quite accurate to what has happened. Mm. But I am very, very excited because I am seeing palm trees and islands and... Whee! It looks like a petite tobacco, doesn't it? It looks From like, afar. yeah, there's a place in Tobago Cays called Petite, petite Tobac. You'll see a link for that video right other here. Other side, other side. There. Yeah. Or there, maybe here. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Um, one of our favorite islands we've been to, Petite Tobac in Tobago Cays. Let's see if we can trump it, shall we? I have... I have honestly never seen anything like this. This this looks amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. I don't want to leave. I really. I haven't even put down Nanki yet, and I just want to stay here. Wow! Wow! Pulling into one of the better anchorages we've seen in the last 12 months was a dream come true. No resorts, hotels or restaurants in sight, we actually felt like we were in a scene straight out of a movie. Unbelievable. dreams I could not imagine that it would look like this it's just I feel like we're in the Pacific Ocean there are a handful of boats here the anchorage is super calm there's windy no waves whatsoever the island just looks like I don't know picked out of a postcard oh I'm in lots of words right now <laughs> 